It is the 27th day of February 2020. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Rethina Seja here. We look at stories making news across the country. Start off with a national story where Uganda National Examinations Board, UNEB, will today release the results of the Uganda Advanced Certificate of Education Examinations SAT last year, 2019. Now, over 100,000 students sat for the examinations at approximately 1,900 centers. UNEB spokesperson Jen Fakali confirms that the Minister of Education, Janet Museveni, shall preside over the function of the office of the President in Kampala. Let's move on to Jinja District, where former presidential candidate and from for Democratic Change President Dr. Kiza Besije has been arrested and detained at Nelfenia Police Station in Jinja. Besije was arrested at Sunset International Hotel in Jinja as he was leaving for a rally at Kazimingi in Jinja Town yesterday. There was heavy deployment of anti-police riot police commanded by Kira Regional Police Commander Paul Nkore at the rally venue. The police, with the help of the Uganda People's Defense Forces truck, intercepted Besje's vehicle at the entrance of the hotel as he was starting to drive out. The anti-riot police placed barricades in front of Besje's car and until they called for a UPDF truck that towed the vehicle to Nalfenia police station. Yes, thank you watching New Vision TV News with me, Ruth Nasser. You take a break as we look at what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. Now, for those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. Yes, thank you for watching New Vision TV News with me, Ruth Inna. As you continue looking at more stories, making news across the country. We move on to Kampala, Uganda's capital city, where the outbreak of coronavirus in China has delayed some of the road construction projects. The executive director, Uganda National Roads Authority, Alan Kajina, says many projects were awarded to Chinese companies and contractors who had flown to China to celebrate the Chinese New Year and cannot fly back because of the outbreak. Kajina reveals that they are working with the Chinese embassy to handle the matter. She said this while releasing the authorities' performance report for the last quarter. Closing off news around Uganda this morning is a story from Gulu where the court marshal sitting to determine the fate of a UPDF officer, Lance Corporal Okelo Joffrey Oneka, resumes this morning at 9 a.m. at the 4th Infantry Division headquarters in Gulu District. The soldier, I beg your pardon, is suspected to have shot dead three members of the same family and injured another on the night of Monday, the 10th of February 2020 at Peshe Vanguard in Gulu Munspaiti. Court was covered in grief yesterday as Patrick O'Quera, the father of the victims, was produced in court as the fourth persecution witness. <laughs> Peace. 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 Peace.
That's all I had for you this morning. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also follow us on our social media platforms. Facebook is the New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wear. Instagram is at New Vision Wear. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth The Voice. Thank you for watching.